Okay, let's see. Um, doesn't appear to be very hard to put my charging cable into my phone, and that's why you know the wireless charging for the phones to me seems kind of almost useless because there's really not that much more effort that I have to put in. I know some people are really into it because it's a gadget, but as far as how useful it is, probably not so much. Same kind of goes for electric cars, at least that's what I thought because you know, plugging your car in exactly like takes three seconds. Um, four if you drop it on a floor, right? So it's definitely much, much faster than uh, gas in your car, except for now. Hyundai actually came out with this interesting idea, which really combines two ideas in one, and now it's making the um, wireless charging a little bit more, it, it makes a little more sense. I'll tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And of course, if you are new here, welcome. I'm glad you finally found my channel and this way you can actually stay and hang out. And, you know, uh, don't forget to click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward because cool stories like this come out all the time all the time but i'm excited about this one okay so uh, uh wireless charging right now a, a lot of time maybe like two years ago three years ago uh, when we're talking about wireless charging for cars and even like gadgets you know uh, the loss of energy was too much you know and therefore you're kind of paying for the toy to lose 20 30 40 percent of your energy and therefore 20 30 40 percent of your money and that hurts a lot more of course and uh, but now the the efficiency actually is very pretty good uh, 90 to 95 uh, percent which i think is is good enough to say all right all right that's cool now as i mentioned before you know with my awesome care top props here um maybe not as funny but still just as effective here it doesn't take that much energy but here's what hyundai came out with where where you can combine the wireless charging with autonomous driving and then together it actually does make sense because then plugging your car in when you're not there uh, is a problem. Um, so let me tell you, let me show you the video of their demo, how they believe it's going to work. Before that, let me remind you that this show and this channel is sponsored by x -Rack. This is an awesome solution. This is basically a roof rack, a roof rack for your um, uh, car's hitch, you know, as you know, Model X, and that's what this mainly was designed for, though it can work for many other cars. You know, you can't have the, um, the, the cargo uh, products on top because, you know, the Falcon doors, uh, and a lot of people just prefer not to because of the clearance issues and other. This is a great solution. Because become, becomes a, 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 a you know a, makes a use of a vehicle hitch in in, in an ex a very interesting new way. Um, so check it out at xrack.us. There is a link in the description of this video, but there's also a discount code that you can get your you know you can save yourselves a few bucks and you get free shipping there. So have added. But back to the uh, Hyundai story here. And by the way, Hyundai and Kia are doing this. As you know, Hyundai owns Kia. They're kind of sister companies. They A lot of these share technologies and so forth and so forth. So this is one of those shared technologies that they are announcing today. It will start testing in 2021 and they kind of you know, trying to get it to, uh, uh, to the masses by 2025 uh, because you know this does require autonomous uh, a driving level four. So let me show you the video. So um, here's what they mean. Um, basically, they're combining this valet thing that Tesla kind of already uh, been on the way of doing it with uh, the wireless charging, right? So you come up, you take out, you know, you get out of your car, um, and now you're going to park at the smart garage, right? Uh, the car finds the spot and it's going to charge. Well, now it's going to solve another problem because once you're done charging, well, you're just taking up a spot and maybe, you know, losing some money on the extra fees. Well, when the car is done charging, as you can see, it's going to leave now. It's going to go and find the next one comes in, right? Uh, and it's going to find a regular parking spot in the same garage. By the way, you know what else they need to invent in that garage is heaters. So everything's covered in snow somehow, including people. Uh, but that's beside the point. Anyway, so now it parks itself where it won't acquire any extra charging fees. And this lady that's obviously freezing to death is uh, is now going to summon this car uh, to get out of that parking spot that's, that's fully charged and get it to her um, as she's coming out of the shopping mall, maybe office or whatever. So I think this is pretty cool. Uh, again, nothing new invented, but two, three different ideas are put together. And now one of them, which, you know, wireless charging, which I thought made very little sense, 
now is making sense. I like that. I I I I really do. This is this is this is why I'm excited about the electric car technology, right? It just allows for so many other things to make your automotive experience even better, right? And when I say even better, I'm not really that excited what what's 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 legacy manufacturers are offering with their uh, uh, gas cars right now. Anyway, um, now by the way, uh, I'm not really sure if this is a car that they they're, they're demoing us as far as what their uh, um, you know future design is. But it's kind of cool. I mean, somebody had to make this over there. So maybe it gives us a little bit of a uh, um, peek in, in terms of what they're working on as far as the design. Now, Hyundai will have a press conference at CES um, in the next few days. I will be flying to CES to bring that to you guys um, uh, from the location. And of course, as you know, I bring some footage back and then give you more reports that I post. But I will be there. I will be covering it. And the Hyundai is going to be one of the... Uh, uh, events I'm covering. And by the way, I will also be at the Kia's uh, US launch for the uh, Kia Niro EV. Um, it will be here in uh, uh, Northern California. I'll be there, of course, to cover it for you as well. By the way, let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer Patreons, Jay Brooks. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. It is, you know, I am an independent full-time YouTuber. It's a big deal for me. So thank you so much. And of course, uh, my Patreons benefit from all kinds of Ooh, perfect timing. Patreon.com slash electric if you want to join. Um, you get to watch me live with a top tier, but it can cost you only $1 a month. I think you can't even sponsor a kitten at the local shelter for that, but you can sponsor this one uh, for just a dollar a month. Anyway, thanks. Uh, hey, let me know what you think about this technology, by the way. I'm really excited. I'm, I mean, this is, you know, this is innovation and we don't see that very often from brands that are maybe not Tesla. And I'm really, I'm really excited to see that Hyundai is actually doing that. Let me know what you think other than that. See you next time. And remember to stay charged.